what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so I know you guys have heard that it will damage your transmission if you tow your vehicle with the engine off and that is in fact true and I'm gonna show you in this video why I've got some transmission parts laying over here and I'm gonna show you the components in the transmission that why the engine has to be running in order to keep from damage to the transmission and I'm also going to explain to you the exception to that rule the people you see pulling vehicles behind a motorhome and how they're doing that so stay tuned and we'll get started okay guys this is a torque converter this bolts to the flywheel on your engine right here with uh, bolts and it goes inside the transmission uh, the front of the transmission and these little ears here turn an oil pump now they make these in several different styles here you can see this one has notches this one has flat tapers right here on the edge this one has bigger notches this is out of a Dodge uh, on the Dodges the actual ring gear for the flywheel is made into the torque converter and you just have a little plate that the uh, converter bolts to on the back of the engine so now I'll show you the transmission pump so here's the transmission pump I believe this is out of a 4L60 or 4L65E transmission I don't know it was sitting on the floor over there I think it's still yeah still bolted together it's got a couple of bolts in it let me take these bolts out and we'll see if it still has gears in here I believe it probably does okay guys so this is the transmission pump taken apart here um, they have different transmission pumps for different transmissions obviously but you see the half there this half here is the part that's actually got the pump part in it this is a vein style pump the part on the torque converter I showed you with the little notches actually engages this when you stick it in there there's a seal right there a bushing and you can see the tabs in there goes to the pump gears and um, this is a vein style pump they make these in three different styles that I'm aware of this is a vein style they make a gear style and then they make a lobe style that's in a, like a Dodge uh, application that takes a lobe style. I'll try to find uh, some gears over here if I can find some to show you what they look like as well. But this is what the vein style looks like. Basically when your uh, torque converter turns you can see how that compresses the oil over here and it feeds it into the cavities right here on the pump which go down and through the oil holes and stuff in your pump stator and goes throughout the transmission and it pumps all through the transmission for all these bearings bushings here um, they're actually bushings in here but in the engine application uh, it would be a bearing uh, depending on what you like to call it um, anyway so it pumps all throughout your shafts to keep all these bushings and stuff lubricated so if your engine is not turning your oil pump in the front of your transmission is not turning and is not lubricating the inside of your transmission so if you pull a vehicle down the road that the engine has quit on so the fuel pump went out or something you are going to destroy your transmission if you pull it very far at all um, I would not want to pull one over you know if you're broke down in the middle of the road I really wouldn't want to pull it over a mile you know if you're a couple blocks from somewhere um, you know tow it at a low mile per hour you know 20 miles an hour for a short distance um, you know you'll probably be okay but I know a lot of the older owners manuals used to say you could tow them up to 10 miles an hour and people would take off tow, tow them down the road at 50 miles an hour at 10 mile, for 10 miles I mean 10 miles yeah 50 miles an hour or whatever and they would come in and the transmission completely destroyed after they got the engine running uh, because of all the bushings and stuff all the uh, hard parts would basically weld themselves together and you couldn't even tear the transmission down it was completely junk um, you just had to go you know buy a new transmission at that point so this is what the gear style uh, pump gear looks like as you can see it's a gear and there's another gear that goes inside of this and it's offset I was hoping I could find a pump half somewhere over here that I could show you but this is actually a tool that uh, I think my dad built for something or another or he got somewhere that um, they use the pump gear um, use this on a press to press a drum or something other to get something apart okay guys so I could not find a pump gear the lobe style pump gear out of like a Dodge transmission uh, they usually use it's similar to the gear but the teeth are not like gear teeth they're more of a oblong uh, hard to describe kind of a lobe shape basically 
uh, kind of shaped like a lobe on a camshaft or something. You know, they're uh, just a long, like, lobe style. Anyway, those are three styles of pumps that I know of. And uh, that pump has to be turned by the engine, and it pumps oil throughout your transmission through the holes in the transmission shaft. And again, different transmissions is going to be different um, the way they're built, but all of them basically, you know, you have holes in your shafts where your bushings and stuff ride, and it forces the transmission fluid through in order to lubricate. And if the engine is not running and you tow it for extended distance, these bushings are going to gall to the shaft and all your planetary gears, which planetary gears, that's what these are. These are planetary and they go inside the hub like that right there that's broken. You see that's broken. I bet that came out of there. Anyway, that rides in there and there's little bearings inside of there. You see that flat bearing down in the bottom right there? That's also a bearing. Anyway, so your transmission oil lubes this. And if you do not have your uh, engine running when you tow your vehicle, you will wind up with a bunch of broken parts. Something like this. So anyway, that's why you cannot tow a vehicle for an extended distance with your engine off if your engine quits running. Um, you will mess up your transmission beyond repair. It will weld itself together and there will be no taking it apart. Um, you will be getting a new transmission somewhere. Um, so you may be asking, well, how does the people that tow them behind motorhomes and stuff like that flat tow them with a tow bar uh, and able to do that? Well, most of those vehicles are four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive and they have a transfer case that has a neutral position in it. And when you put the transfer case in neutral, your transfer case also has an oil pump in it, but the oil pump in the transfer case is on the output shaft instead of on the input shaft as it is in transmission. So well, when you're towing the vehicle down the road, you have the transfer case in neutral, you leave your transmission in park, that way it locks your transmission output shaft in park. You put your transfer case that goes on here. This is a two-wheel drive output shaft, but just follow me. If it was four-wheel drive, it'd be a little shorter. But either way, your transfer case would go on here, and you would put that in neutral, and then the oil pump in the back of your transfer case would pump oil in the transfer case. Your transmission is not turning at all uh, by the input or the output shaft because it's in park. And that is the way that they are able to tow them cross country on motorhomes. Most of those vehicles you see is going to be like some sort of Jeep or some sort of all wheel drive transfer case um, or four wheel drive or all wheel drive vehicle with a transfer case that has a neutral function um, that I've seen. Um, I mean, I guess you have some people that do um, have a two wheel drive and they'll just crank it up and let it run. But most of them are going to be all wheel drive or four wheel drive Jeeps, that sort of thing, that they can leave the transmission in park and put the transmission or the transfer case in neutral. Um, if you have a standard transmission, this still can apply also because your input shaft has to turn on some transmissions in order to turn your counter shaft in order for the oil to sling to all the gears inside the transmission. Um, and it depends on how the transmission is built, um, what it's out of, all that sort of stuff. Um, some of the older transmissions, you could tow them just fine. And uh, some of the newer stuff, not so much. So I would not recommend it even on a manual transmission uh, because, as I say, if the engine's not running, it's not turning the input, which is not turning the counter shaft, which is not slinging oil to, the, uh, to your main shaft, and it will weld the gears together on the main shaft, and you will be needing a new manual transmission. So in either way, it is not good to tow a vehicle with the engine uh, not running unless it's only for extremely short distance at really low mile per hour. Um, you know, if you break down, you just need to pull it, you know, up exit ramp or, you know, a couple blocks somewhere, uh, that should be fine. But if you're going to hook a chain or cable to it and take off, toe strap to it, take off down the road five or ten miles or further, you're going to destroy your transmission, cost yourself a lot of money. You need to call a wrecker and make sure the wrecker that you call um, is an experienced person. It's either a flatbed truck or it is someone experienced in towing. You know, they've been in business for a while and they understand that if the vehicle is front wheel drive, they have to lift the front tires off the ground. If it is rear wheel drive, they have to lift the rear tires off the ground or they have to pull the drive shaft. That's why you see the big truck wreckers that hook on the semis. They pull the drive shaft, most of them. Some of them will pull the axles out. 
Uh, but most of them are going to pull the drive shaft regardless because they don't want to be held responsible uh, for tearing that transmission up. And then you wind up in a lawsuit with a tow company uh, trying to say, you know, was it your fault or their fault or whatever. And it can get real messy real quick. So just make sure that when you call a tow truck, as somebody, you know, reputable that has a clue it doesn't have a driver that's you know just started last week doesn't know anything about it just hooks up to your you know two-wheel drive dragging it down the road with the rear wheels on the ground turning for 30 or 40 miles because you will not have a transmission left uh when they get done with it and then you'll be in a lawsuit with them trying to prove uh who did what in the meantime you're going to be sitting at home with no vehicle to get where you need to go um and that's just a bad situation to be in so anyway, hope that kind of explains things, uh, why you should not tow your vehicle with the engine off. Uh, put it on a trailer, a flatbed truck, that sort of thing. Get the wheels off the ground. Uh, or you could pull, if it's two-wheel drive or whatever, you could pull the drive shaft out. Um, it's usually not something somebody's going to do on the side of the road. If it's front-wheel drive, really not much you can do there. You're just going to have to get a wrecker or flatbed truck um, to get it somewhere. So anyway, hope this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.